Okay, so this is a hydrolophone underwater pipe organ. Would you mind perhaps telling us the difference between all the different models? Because I see that you have at least three or four different versions of it. Would you mind explaining which one's what and what's the difference? Sure. Hydrolophone is a general class of instrument. I noticed that if you look at, 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 at strings, percussion and wind, that strings and percussion are solid matter, and there's lots of those. Under, under, under solid matter, gaophones I call them, you've got strings, percussion, and under wind, you've got woodwind and brass. Under this new category I created called hydrolophone, there wasn't anything. So I've, I've invented hundreds of different hydrolophones that, that fit under that category. Some of them are reedless, some of them have reeds in them. So there's the clarinassi, which is an underwater clarinet. I've invented the H2 oboe, which is an underwater oboe, double reed or multi-reed underwater instrument. <clears throat> and then there's the water flutes, which are underwater instruments that have no reeds. This is a water flute right here. It's an underwater pipe organ, basically, in which none of the pipes have reeds in them. And this over here is, a, is, a, is called a water hammer hydrolophone. We call it the hammer for short, because it, the sound arises from water, the water hammer phenomenon. I think, have you ever thought of licensing your instruments to all the public schools in Toronto and around the world? Well, I've already licensed the technology to Whitewater West in British Columbia for installation in water parks. And so they've installed, they're installed in water parks all over the world. We did one for uh, Legoland in Carlsbad, California. It's in the shape of a giant Lego block. Uh, we've done, we did one as the main centerpiece out in front of the Ontario Science Center. We did one for Chicago Children's Museum. We did one for Mayborn Museum in Texas. So we've put them in different places. We sent one to Egypt to, for uh, putting in a, in a water park there with, and it's in an Egyptian scale, the musical scale. So it's, it's very much bringing the technology to people. A lot of people who are less fortunate and don't have access to instruments at home can play these instruments in public parks now. And it's much the idea of bringing music to everybody and also raising people's awareness of the importance of water and being able to become in touch with water or become one with water. <laughs> 